Welcome back to Pentester Academy. Today we're going to be going through the lab for Preferred Network List for PNL Basics. My name is Rick Farina. As usual, we're going to start with pentesteracademy.com and click on Member Access. Then we're going to move over to the Access Attack and Defense Labs. Scroll down to Wi-Fi Attack and Defense. And reconnaissance. And we're going to start the preferred network list basics. Pick a server, in my case US East, but please be sure to pick the one closest to you and start the lab. Today we're going to be going over how preferred network lists work and how to kind of discover them from the opposite side when it's not just the phone in your hand and you're just looking at the Wi Fi menu. Most devices, laptops, phones, uh, little IoT things, do have a preferred network list built in where they actually have an ordered list of different networks they want to connect to and the different settings for those saved. So it'll try to find network one and then network two and so on. We're gonna learn a little bit about that today. I'm open up this lab and we're going to start off as usual with Airmon NG. In this case, it's not installed. We will check out IW config, and it'll show us that we do have two Wi Fi cards installed WLAN 0 and WLAN 1. I'm going to start off uh, looking for the first question. First question today is How many clients are probing? Please provide a number. So we're going to drop our first Wi Fi card into monitor mode. First, we have to set it down and then set it into monitor mode. And then we're going to bring it back up. And we're going to open up arrow dump ng as usual for our first reconnaissance. And we're just going to scan on all bands and look for everything in the airspace. In this case is pretty quiet. Press A to filter even more quietly. So AP plus station, just AP, just station. See here that there are two devices active in the airspace right now and we can type that in as our answer verify what is the preferred network list length of the client with mac address 02 react at the zeros 02 moving right back over here there's the client with the matching mac address and the answer is there's one two three four five six entries there are six entries in this one's preferred network list. Last question is client 0203 connects to which network first if all the networks in his preferred network list are available. Assume that networks in the preferred network list are WPA2 reshared key network. Let's look again at what we've got. We've got two clients in the airspace each one of them is probing for a few different things. The first question was about this client here, which is probing for these six different networks. And we don't know anything about these networks. We don't know what kind of networks they are. We don't know what order that this client prefers them in. We just know that we've seen them probe for these six networks. For the last question, we were told to care about this client here. This client is probing for two networks. And we were also told WPA2 Free shared key. This is really important because a lot of older devices, uh, really badly written stuff, a few IoT things, they will actually connect to basically anything as long as the SSID matches. Most things won't do. You need to match the settings correctly. So we would have to put up an open network, a web network, a WPA1, a WPA2, a WPA3 network for each one of these, but we were given the hint that they are WPA2 pre shared key. Or at least that's what we should assume. There are a few tools to figure out how this works. Airbase NG is one of them. However, that tool is uh, a little iffy. It does not always work as well as you would hope. So if we, for example, air replay G and just set zero. Uh, 
and we'll set give it attack mode. In this case, we're going to tell it to set all the tags, which is dash zero. Mesh. Now. Now it's going to start an access point, just kind of listening to everybody and trying to respond to whatever. But as you can see, clients aren't really biting, and sometimes this plane just doesn't work. So a much safer way is to go through and set up a host apd conf file. You can find these in basically any spot. Uh, most distributions install them in user share host apd as example files um, or you can just google and find this stuff out it's mostly pretty simple so the first thing is first interface equals wlan1 this is the wi-fi card that we're going to put into master mode or ap mode driver is called nl802.11 that's Netlink 802.11 driver. This is the main driver for all of Linux uh, Wi-Fi cards. So basically, if it's in the kernel, it's probably that driver. SSID, there's two SSIDs. We're going to start with DexNet. WPA equals 2. WPA passphrase equals whatever we want. We don't know what it is, so it's totally password. WPA key management. We're going to set this as a WPA pre-shared key network and RSN pairwise of CCMP means it's a WPA2 network. Last, we're going to set channel and that's going to give us one access point. We also need that second SSID. In this case, instead of doing interface, we do BSS. Let me just give it a name. It's going to be WLAN 1, 0. And the SSID on this one is going to be DEX network. And the rest of it is pretty much the same. WPA equals two. WPA passphrase on this one is going to be a lot more secure. We're going to say it's password one, capital P, very important. And WPA key management, still WPA PSK, RSN pairwise, still CCMP. And channel, this is quite critical, it needs to be the same as the other one because this is one Wi Fi card, but we're going to use it for two different SSIDs. And the way this works is that most Wi Fi cards can actually support about eight SSIDs. Some of them do support up to 16, but all we need is two for right now, so this should be good enough. Now we're going to run host apd and we're going to give it the comp file. And if we're super lucky, we're going to actually have a client connect this time. There we go. Client tried to connect to WLAN 1 underscore 0. And then it's got a PSK mismatch, which we expected since I made that up. And then it's going to try to connect to WLAN 1. We can see here WLAN 1 underscore 0 is DEX network. And then after that, it tried to connect to DEX net. So the first thing it tries to connect to, DEX network. All things being equal, that is its most preferred wireless network. Click on verify, and we see that is correct. So now we are all set. We can go ahead and stop our lab. And remember, if you didn't test it yourself, it doesn't work. I will see you again next time. Thank you.